yeah, as you're talking about why it's causing these delays, because that's obviously something we talk about consistently yeah. outside of the pod. I think what just popped up in my mind is that I remember asking you one time how many production companies yeah. there were. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I do. And you recently, told me actually. there was like three big ones, and then right. there's like some obviously smaller ones, like five to ten smaller ones. And I'm wondering if they have so much work to do because they hire so many or they take on so many projects, so many animes, maybe that it just gets backed up because there's just no shot. They because they're not pulling a, uh, they're not pulling a JJK. <laughs> right. <laughs> Where they're treated their, their creators like shit. Their animators like shit. <laughs> right. They're Where like, Hey, like... we want you guys to see your families. <laughs> so, uh, Mark, yeah. you can go home for the day. Okay. Yeah. Just, you know, don't worry. <laughs> We He's got walking out there more... like it's been three weeks. <laughs> we got we got two more years before the next season comes out. You have plenty of time, buddy. Are those... Say hi to the kids for me. Are those guys <laughs> really like required to spend the fucking night in the studio working on I don't, that shit? I don't Is know. Is that just a fucking like bullshit rumor? You know, here's the thing. I think there's some truth to it. Because right. if like you watch a lot of the, and shit. Yeah, you watch a lot of the animes, animes uh. depict the japanese life like the work life Uh and their work culture like that where there's a lot of mandatory overtime where you're not getting paid that you're working crazy hours so i don't know if it's like to that extent but i think i've seen enough of it in like the anime and in the culture to believe that there's some truth behind it like they may not be there fucking two weeks straight right Uh but they're definitely probably being overworked i would assume and yeah, not paid for the quality of work they put out. Right. So, yeah, that that was my biggest guess is that they just have so many yeah. projects that they have to work on that it's just impossible for them to get to I every mean, single I one. I mean, that's possible. Uh, I will say I do have a question for you, though, because this has actually been rattling in my brain for, for a couple weeks now. How do you mm-hmm. feel about them putting out movies for the animes? I like it if it makes sense you know like yeah. the, the movie has to play a role in moving the story forward without you watching see the actual story so for instance my only example would be um the jjk movie where we saw that movie now granted i right. we both think that they released it at the wrong time right because i think the at the time we watched it, it was fucking perfect yeah, perfect. And we just so you guys know, we watched it like right after Hidden Inventory. Right after. So and right after Hidden Inventory, we watched the movie. Right. And granted, you could argue, oh, well you learned a lot more about what going was going to happen into it, going into it if we would have watched it before. Prior to watching it before, right? Right. So that's probably the one knock on it, but you understood the gravity of Gato in that movie when you waited till we waited, which was after him. Yeah. So I will say, cause like I said, this has been kind of kicking around in my head a lot lately. Um, I don't think that's the norm. I don't think Canon v- movies are the norm. Usually mm-hmm. like a lot of the movies are one-offs. Mm-hmm. They're like some side storyline that doesn't play a factor in any of the movies. I would argue that majority of the movies I've seen are like that. Mm-hmm. And it drives me crazy. It actually pisses me. I actually hate that about it. I honestly think that that's w- one of the worst things about anime culture as a whole is they just make so many movies that don't relate to the storyline or don't like stick to canon yeah. that they're wasting their time because they spend what? Like it's an hour and a half, right? Mm-hmm. So essentially an hour and a half is like half a season yeah. when you string the episodes together. Yeah. If you like cut the time out, right? It's like six episodes. Mm -hmm. and so when you're looking at it that way like why would you spend all this time animating a movie that has nothing to do with storyline when you could have gave us half a season that has something to do with the storyline like i would much rather wait six more months and get a new season versus get a movie after six months and then wait two more years to get another season yeah, no, that never that never makes sense to just do a movie that is yeah. a side thing that maybe is like a side quest is what you're I think describing instead of like actually adding right. to the storyline. Right. It's just a side And I would like, say that's the norm. Quest. Yeah. 
and that's bullshit. I'll never be on board yeah, for that. Yeah, and it sucks but. sometimes, right? Because there are a lot of times where the movie's good. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not saying these movies are always bad. Like a lot of the times, the like movies I like the JJK movie. Yeah, but that added to the storyline. I'm talking right. specifically the ones that don't. The ones that don't. Okay. Yeah, like I've watched. Like I'll give you an example. I won't go into detail on it because you haven't watched it. But Black Clover just came out with a movie. Oh, okay. uh, the sword or the wizard or the and that's Kings wild considering how like many that. episodes they already have out right that's and, ridiculous and they haven't put out a new season in like three years right uh-huh. so that's even more wild it's like so they they came out with this movie the movie really fucking good i enjoyed the shit out of it has nothing to do with anything going on at the moment oh, okay nothing at all yeah but does it is it like a backstory is it like a prequel a side okay. quest. See, it's like a side one quest. thing that I can think of that I want right now is a Minato movie from Naruto. Right. You see that would him be cool. Yeah. As a student, and then you see him all the way to the war arc right before he becomes Okage. Yeah, that'd that, be fucking that'd be wrong. That would be dope, but that would also be canon. So that's what right. I'm saying. Like right. if you're giving me one off movie, even the one off movies like you're talking about, like with uh uh Minato. Like the prequel yeah cool movies yeah like even if you're giving me one-off movies that still apply to like the storyline and canon i'm all for it but right. like one piece has like 50 movies dude fucking jesus christ uh, naruto has fucking 50 movies like yeah why and why none do of you them do are this Minato instead of, yeah, movies why are you doing this instead of giving me more like storyline content 